good day sixth grade computer friends. I need you to have Google Chrome open and you need to have signed into Google Chrome with your school account. Once you've got that completed, I would like you to click the Google Apps button and our first project is going to be a Google Doc. When you launch Google Docs, our first one is just going to be from the blank template. So please click that so that it shows up. Whenever you start a Google Doc, the first thing you should do is name it. We're going to name ours all about, and then put me, dash, and then put your name after it. So I am Mike Harmon, so I'm putting Mike H. You put your names after that. When you've got that completed, let's add a title to the very top. And once again, let's type all about your first and last name. Make sure that you spell that all correctly, and then let's practice selecting the words and making them larger. I want you to choose 30 or 36. You can pick. Once you've got the cool size chosen, I want you to use the center button to center them. And then I want you to pick a fancy font whichever one you like from the list is cool and then find the font color button and make it a pretty color let's click after and press enter and notice it stays the same size well I want the rest of this to be back to the left I want it to be back to size 14 and I want you to do your first bit of typing in the color black so get all of your settings changed so it's set up like that on this line, I would like you to type hello to everybody and then put a comma. This will be a document all about me. I hope you enjoy it. When you're done typing that, notice it's still the Anton font. Let it set it back to the normal Arial and let's press enter so we can move on to the next part where we add the cool pieces. Friends, as we work through our Google Doc, our next tool we're going to use is the Table tool. And we are going to insert it by hitting Insert Table. And I want you to do one row by two columns. This drops in this cool little two-cell table. But I want to add another one, and I want you to see how easy it is to right-click and insert another row below. It is that simple to get it aligned like that. Let's keep track of a few things. On the left side, I want you to put the word family, and you're going to tell me all about your family down below. And on the right side, I want you to put things you like or likes. To make our family members stand out, I want you to use the sweet little bullets. When you click the bullets, when you type the people's names, it shows up real cool with a little dot in front of it. So my dad is Steve. My mom is Janice. And I only have a brother named Jeff. And then I would just like you to list all of your family. If you've got more than one mom or dad, just list them uh, however you do. You can list your stepbrothers. You can fill that up as much as you want. If you've got a favorite cousin, you can add them. Uh, I'm going to add my favorite cousin, Kurt. And just add a bunch of cool information about your family. So that way I can learn a little bit about them. So there's my cousin Kurt. On your likes, I want you to do the bulleted list as well. But this time, let's pick a fancy bulleted list. So I just chose the little down arrow so I could find something different that I liked. So my likes I'm going to list as well. And I need at least five things you like. You can see I added all of the lions, tigers, pistons, and red wings that I really like. And then I also mentioned that I like uh, playing hobby, hockey and my YouTube channel and 3D printing. You can have as many of these as you want, but you got to make sure you find at least five things you like as you're sharing. Let's continue to master the buttons that we have here. So we've taught you the font button, the font size button. We've also worked with the bulleted list. 
Now let's format this table. Start by grabbing the word family and likes, and let's go back to that center tool. We can also shade those in. If we select the cells and click the little shade box, you can put a light color in the box. You could also do the fancy borders. So once again, I've got the box selected and it wants to know the border color. I'm going to put a bright color for the border so that way it kind of makes it pop. We center these. You usually want to keep your list to the sides. They are not as cool if you center them. I'll let you see what it looks like. If you make a mistake like I did just now, do Control Z. So now I've got those selected. And let's see what it looks like in the center. It's just a little wackadoodle. So whenever you're doing list, that's why you probably put them to the side. Click below your cool all about uh, Mike Harmon. And I'd like you to tell me a little bit about you. So you can see I give some details that I've been teaching for 28 years. I have a wife, Mrs. Harmon, and she teaches at Mac Bay. I didn't tell you that, but I could have. I have a son, Drew, and a daughter, Anna. No reason to capitalize that, but I still did. I have lived in Holland, Michigan for 25 years, and I enjoy playing with technology. So just give me a short paragraph about you, making sure that you don't have any spelling errors, and have capitalized as you should have. So you can see here this HL Mod Tech, it says it's not a correct word. I know that it is, so I'm going to leave it. When you've got your awesome project completed, make sure that your neighbor has checked it. Maybe read it out loud to them. Alrighty, friends, with your project totally beautiful, it is time to turn it in. And we turn ours in using Nimbus. Make sure you select the selected area. If you haven't got Nimbus yet, there will be a link to a Nimbus video right up here that you can click. And you'll need to make sure that you're signed in to get it to work. Once you're in, you simply click and drag over the parts that matter. Uh, don't grab all the white space. When you're done with that, click save and it'll automatically save to your downloads. You can hit save if that pops up. There's a good chance that yours will not. When you've completed that, return to our classroom and find your Google Docs assignment. You need to click on the word view assignment and then quite often it does not show you the little add file part. So we simply go back to Computers 1, we go back to Classwork, we hit View Assignment again, and now you can add files. Click the word Add, click the word File, click the word Select. On the left, find your downloads, and then in your downloads you will see your beautiful project. Choose Upload, give it some time to get there, and when it is finally up, you'll be able to click turn in so that I finally have it. Once again, the reason we do this is so that you get to keep your real project if you want to make any changes. And I've got proof that you have completely completed yours. If you click back on classwork, you'll notice that the Google Docs lesson is now gray, which means it's completed. So friends, thank you for following this so closely. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. And friends, if you want to be the first to see when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. If you're using your phones at home, you can also leave comments under the videos if you have questions. Friends, thanks for watching. Have a great day.